What's up everybody, FSC Trucking. We're on our way to go deliver this Trio A solo mix that I'm hauling. Big red feeder mixer thing that they sell over here in Friesland, Wisconsin. This also is going to be an interesting video because for the first time we're actually getting ready to go haul a subscriber's piece of freight and haul it to them. So long story short, basic plan for today is simple. Unload this solo mix today. Today's Wednesday, by the way. And then we're going to unload at the yard. Blah, blah. Screw that up. Try it again. This video is going to be a first for me because it's the first time I've ever been hired by a subscriber to haul free for them. So long story short, what's going to happen is we're going to unload this mixer. We're going to go to the yard. We're going to pick up some LTL freight to go with it because the subscriber's freight is a Freightliner truck that I believe is a like a vacuum sweeper truck. It's 23 feet long, so don't pick up the whole trailer. So we got to go to the yard, pick up our LTL stuff, go to Addison, Illinois, pick up the sweeper truck and a haul ass out east. Get car for LTLs that I don't know what they are yet, and then the sweeper truck, or the sweeper truck first, don't know. We gotta figure that out. Either way, we're on our way. Let's get this video started. systems on their truck compared to a farmer that costs as much as the farmer's truck. The exhaust system on a brand new prime truck costs more than a farmer's truck. Do you think that ATA company with exhaust systems like that and ELDs is going to compete with the farmer's antique cornfield Cadillac hauling a hopper bottom? It's almost as funny as Swift trucks hauling reefers. Swift's going to get in the produce game from California to Hunts Point. You better throw some dirt in the bottom of that reefer and throw some seeds in there. That way that crap will grow up and it might be ripe and ready, ready for uh, production or consumption. By the time it gets to Hunts Point, it'll take so damn long. You put that stuff on the back of Orwell and boom, I'm in New York and lickety split. You put that stuff on the back of a Swift truck, like I said, you better ship that, you better ship that stuff as seeds. By the time it gets there, it'll be fully grown and ready to go. So I remember that. I'm also old enough for this business to remember back in the day when GB Hunt was a trucking company. And they were going to take my job. And by now, all the trucks are going to be big. AT8 and GB Hunt Schneider. Schneider and GB Hunt are more a railroad nowadays than a trucking company. They don't do any long distance trucking no more. They put that crap on rail. So they didn't take over the industry. So everyone's all freaking out about Prime and her new hopper bottom. Big friggin' whoop. Let them get her asses handed to them. That's fine. I'm, I, I welcome it. I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll wet down the rates for a little while, but wait till that stuff can't get hauled because, you know, whatever exhaust system malfunction, this, that, and the other malfunction, ELD won't let a driver go, all that, whatnot. Hey, good luck with that. You know, not for nothing, way before my time, there was Schneider Transport, and then they smartened up and figured out Schneider National. The difference was Transport was Teamsters, National was not. One's gone, one's not. 100-year-old trucking company, Yellow, gone. You got, you got 
Guys like my buddy Chad Keegan hauling our old trailers around now to the auctions to get rid of them. Right, there's been a lot of, we're gonna get taken over by this, that, and the other, only for the people that are supposedly gonna take over to wind up being a uh, uh, fallen flag of trucking. And I welcome it. Here we are. Oh, their driveway's still all iced over still. Yay. Fun. So if I screw this up, it's gonna be a devil of time to get out of there. Well, don't screw up. Roll my window down so I can see my blind side better. <laughs> yeah. Because that works too. And my passenger side window is frozen. Oh, I can still see though. I usually make this turn a little too tight. It's the mistake I almost always make. And the trailer does drag the ground when you're pulling in. I think I got her this time. Yeah, I'm missing that dock. I always, I always almost put it right into that dock. Let me bring her to a stop, make sure I can. It's freezing drizzle last night where I went to bed last night. It wasn't bad at all. It wasn't anything. It's just a little wet. I know the weather report at my place where I live, up by Green Bay, was talking freezing drizzle. Oh, Jen said the car was covered when she went to work this morning. It wasn't that bad though. Oh, this is more snow than ice. Okay. Well, where I am now, anyway. All right, excellent. So far, so good. Excellent. Yeah, all in all, it's been a good morning, though. I'm really trying to... Look, look, I'm not into the New Year's resolutions nonsense. Not even close. Like, like, don't bother me with that nonsense. But, I will say this. What I am into is uh, being assured it try to keep a positive attitude even though I'm dealing with a lot of nonsense long story short boys and girls I'm trying to start off this year with a positive attitude even though I don't like the winter time I'm not a fan at all I don't get along with winter worth the crap but so far so good I suppose so we're gonna try to build up work up so that's it hopefully uh, this week will be a continuation I really wanted to go home, obviously. Uh, I'm literally just unloading and reloading and turning around right back. So I'm not going home at all. And that sucks. But you know what? We're getting ready to have a great time end of the month with Sean. And I'm really looking forward to that. So this is how we're going to do it. So I'm really trying to really push the envelope this year. Get a lot of work done and get going. So, all right. I'm not getting any work done talking to you now, am I? All right, let's go get some work done. You lazy bum.
to test the tractor protection valve every now and again, right?
Well, Brody, there we are. That was fun, wasn't it? Whew. Work up a sweat doing that stuff. Almost had a bloody air horn. I almost said it. Put air to the trailer. Lock my door. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. A little truck and tractor pull. I, I mean push. Interesting day so far to say the least. It's a little bit of excitement. A little excitement to get the day going good for you, right? You should have hit that like and subscribe just like I almost forgot to hit that brake knob. See, it happens from time to time. You come off the clutch and you don't go nowhere. Just like this video. If you don't hit that like and subscribe, you might not be able to go nowhere. Come on, guys. I'm really trying to get like that 100K going here. I mean, it's been a long slog. From 90 to 100, it's been like... Uh, uh. All right, you hit that like yet? Seriously. All right, I trust you. Sometimes I wish when I redid the diffs in this truck, I'd put lockers in it too. Yeah, I know. If there's no traffic, we ain't stopping. We're just gonna keep them rolling. I don't see no cars that way. I don't see no cars this way. Let's go. Take the dip lock out. Swoop and ride. Whoop whoop. Everybody remember that? Oh, I miss the glory days of chicken drugging. I was saying earlier, you see everybody on the internet, oh my god, Prime makes buying hopper bottoms. Now I'm sure some of you guys drive for Prime, and I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this channel, you're the guys that know something, because you're trying to actually learn about the industry. But even the average flip-flop wearing, spun around, baseball cap wearing, never doing laundry, driver with 18,000 things on his dashboard, you think that kind of driver is going to handle what I just handled right there? You really think that the Prime got a... I'm not picking on Prime, but I guess I am right now. But they got a flatbed division too. I didn't see them over there hauling this stuff. I didn't see them trying to figure out how to get underneath the trailer. Or don't want to be gotten under. Sitting on ice. I just don't see them competing with this. They could try. I guess uh, we'll just have more content for the channel to watch the failure. I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean, but, you know, seriously. Some people need to just think about it. The guys have been in this industry long enough to remember when I used to say J.B. Hunt was going to take us all down. And like I said, they're barely a trucking company any longer. Let's get to the yard. Get our next load picked up. Two picks, one at the yard, one in Addison, unless something else pops. And let's scroll. Let's get some money stacked on that trailer. Wow! I feel good. And I don't know why. I feel good. It's a whole new day. So good, so good, I got you. I should probably edit that out. <laughs> oh God. Have to do it live. I'm in a rare mood, I'm in a rare mood today. Oh hey, what's up everybody, Steve here. 
Hey, I wanted to touch base on something real quick. I can't wait to meet all 100,000 of my bestest of friends out there. So with that, why don't you guys come by and check us out. See, we're gonna hang out with some friends of ours. The kind people at Green APU, just like this unit right here, they wanna come and hang out with us as well. So with that, I'd like to invite you, my biggest fans, to come out, hang out with us at the Green APU booth at Mid-America Trucking Show, Louisville, Kentucky, Thursday, March 21st from 2 and 4 p.m. What we're gonna be doing is doing a meet and greet right there at the Green APU booth. Come check it out. Bring the wife, bring the kids, bring the dog. Check on the dog, might not be a good idea. Be the way, come meet us. By the way, Jen's coming too. There's a bunch of me and my friends gonna be hanging out for all three days of the truck show. So I can't wait to meet all 100,000 of my bestest of friends. So why don't you guys come check us out at the Green APU booth. That's again, that's Thursday, March 21st, between two and 4 p.m. Might be a little early, might be a little late, that's okay. Cause you know what, if you get there early, you can hang out with the Green APU crew. And if guy people are hanging out after 4 p.m., we'll stick around. That's not a big deal to us. We love hanging out with friends. So come out, check it out, hang with my friends, all 100,000 of you. Let's get that done. Green APU booth Thursday, March 21st, Mid America Trucking Show, Louisville, Kentucky. Come on. I'm getting all well ready to get back rocking and rolling. We got a haul freight between now and then, so with that, see you then. I can't wait to meet you. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's get on it, shall we? All right, let's get after it. Quick turn into the yard. Can't announce now. We're gonna have a meeting with Pete Widmeyer for a little while. Shoot the bull about a bunch of crap. Business, personal, learning good. Good thing about it, I've been here for so long that, I mean, everybody, Long story short, Fritz Woodbuyer started this company, and everybody that's here basically is family to Fritz, and all his children still to this day work here. Sadly, Fritz and Judy Woodmeyer have passed, and the company still remains, and I still do real well with them, so that's why I have never really wanted to separate myself from this company. I've done too good with them for too long that I don't want to lose out on that. Now you think, okay, well, all I got is one old ass cab over. But in reality, um, dealing with my ex-wife, massive child support payments, dealing with all of that, you know, for so many years. So, I mean, think about it. I got where I am now and I had to work hard to get there, but I've been taking a lot of time off over family stuff and those days are basically done, but that's fine. Either way, long story short, family of truckers. So it's good to work for a trucking company where the people who run it all used to drive. And I mean all of them. So that's why I'm still here. I'm not saying I'm never going to venture out of my own, do my own thing, but I'll always have some trucks on with, with Widmeyer Express for sure, as long as they're still in business. I'll have units on there. I did text Matthew earlier today, and uh, I guess he had his weekend. His plan is he's going to go look at that one truck for me down there in southeastern United States. So that'd be nice. This load, we're going to like north side of Jersey. The uh, subscriber I'm hauling this thing for, not this thing, the thing we're gonna go pick up. It's a Freightliner truck that's also a uh, street sweeper. So long story short, uh, that's going to Goshen or Goshen, New York. And then this unit here, this little generator, going, uh, I didn't even try to pronounce that, Puquag, P-O-U-G-H-Q-U-A-G, isn't that where Family Guy's from or something, Quahog or Quahog or whatever, I don't actually watch the show. See, I'm pretty excited for this load, actually. Get it done. Although 
end of the week, I'll be out east. So I let dispatch know I'm like, hey, be on the be on the lookout. I'll be getting out there and I'll be empty. And I'll be wanting to get back. I don't really want to spend another weekend out on the road if I don't have to. I don't want to. So we'll see what uh, what the battle plan is. I have to pull a rabbit out of a hat on this one. I could have waited, perhaps. Maybe I'm being greedy. Could have waited and tried to fill out the top deck also. But we're definitely not doing bad with things as they're situated right now. So I'm gonna let it ride. Let's go, whoop and ride. Put that sweeper truck on the front of the bottom deck. Away we go. down in Knoxville. I think I said this on a video a while back. Anyway, Fritz towed me a company truck and brought my truck back. They used Homer's towing uh, to do it. They, at the time, had like a classic XL with a tow rig on the back of it. And all they did was did long distance tows. It wasn't like a big, huge wrecker. It was just to move bobtails effectively. And he hauled it all the way down, hauled a company truck all the way down to me in, in Knoxville, brought my truck back and uh, Fritz had his shop Approaching the railroad crossing. change out my transmission and all said and done he got it was done including the tow it was cheaper to do it that way than it was to have a shop in Knoxville like a Peterbilt dealer do it and I had no downtime other than just waiting for a truck to be towed to me So yeah, when I tell that story, it was Homer's towing that did the job. I thought that was pretty badass. Good looking little unit. I don't know, I was gonna 
back into a different spot, but that uh, Mac day cab sitting right there in the lane just totally screwed the approach up. So I'll do this harder than 90 back over here. Let's take a look at the cab over. Think about them internationals like that right there. Like them? Tall all the way to the top. That thing goes. I right, stay put, I'll be right back. had my eight piece hot and ready and uh, they were just about out of chicky noodle so got the medium I couldn't fill a large I filled the medium yummy yummy alrighty let's get at it huh Got lunch eight. Check the little soup time you over for a little while. Let's get down there and get at it.
Alrighty, boys and girls, we're getting close. I don't know why earlier, and for a while, I've been seeing Addison. Is that the Elmhurst we're going to? I think I've seen Addison, because that's where I brought that busted ass old Volvo that leaked oil all over my trailer. Maybe that's why I had Addison in my head. Not really 100% on that. Who knows? Elmhurst. Get it right. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to see a badass crash. So maybe it went from the left all the way to the right, like almost broadside. And he almost got broadsided. How he got through that, I don't know. I caught it on this camera and I caught it on the dash cam too. So yeah, that was, uh, that was something. this place on the satellite imagery and it's not a place you normally get a big semi like ours in there so this might get interesting we'll see when we get there I think I know how I'm gonna approach it Here go and the next one to go through. Ford was 
out of the way and be gravy. life, baby. That's one advantage you see right here. You can't get everywhere, but you can get a lot better than you can with a big, huge, long wheelbase long hood. It's not this turn, it's the next turn that would probably create problems. I know some of these trucks have bumpers and stuff that go way beyond their hoods. So you can get that illusion you got room to swing your nose around, but you don't. here all righty there it is that's the unit right there I already took pictures of it with my cell phone take a quick walk around with the camera so you see what we're dealing with guy explained to me the truck loses air so all this stuff will suck up as it runs and air builds up in it yeah just a big old freightliner sucker truck what else do you call it? 
That's what I'm going to call it, the sucker truck. Comes with books. Two steering wheels. That's interesting. Wee! That looks fun. Drive me to the side. Maybe. Are you actually oh? Aha. Uh -huh. Apparently this gets in the way of your shifter. All that. No clutch, automatic. Fired right up. Excellent. Customer will be happy. I'm looking for a high idle. Speed control on. We'll let that idle. And while it idles, we'll take the trailer apart. That will take some time. As I know, we're ready to go. The wind it down. Brake. Drive. Release the parking brake. Oh, that's freaky. Look at that wheel turn. Brakes are touchy. This is definitely not a good place to put that for shifting. Oh well. And up we go. yet I'll check our side to side make damn sure we ain't gonna hit nothing that's back up more well we don't have much farther to go to go that way 
back it up. Side to side, we're probably right on it. Yeah, see, that's why I need to make sure is that right there don't go that way. So we got four feet-ish. Let's come up here though, real quick. Look, I've got a blob of grease. All right, we're actually perfect. So I just got to back up far enough to get it on the trailer and tie the bad boy down. Shoot, we're damn near done. A foot and a half is all we really need. I know, door's open. Deal with it. That should be it. Plenty of room up front. Grab our axles per normal. Plenty of room in the back. We'll figure this out once you get it shut down. Perfecto. I'll just put my ramps right back where they were. haul subscribers equipment but that's all right like I said we do it just get a hold of Whitmire Express ask how much what you got how big how heavy if you specifically want me to do it hell I don't know it's gonna need to work out it's really that simple this guy reached out to me directly 
and uh, I just told him, look, get, get a hold of uh, Rod or Adam up there at dispatch. I'll give you a price. You know, that's it, you know. Really not that hard. 